All right, I pulled off to the side of the road and uh, we're gonna do a little walk around here and point out any kind of flaws I could find on this 1979 Trans Am. We're up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check our website out, maplemotors.com. I do have financing, I do have shipping available, and you can see all of my inventory on that website. Here on YouTube, we do full walk around description videos of every car on the lot and also test drives. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the channel. This car here has a 403 up under the hood. The power steering, aftermarket wheels. I love the wheels that are on there. Oversized, they look great. We're gonna start up here in the front, point out any kind of flaws. Uh, those detailed pictures online will also point out flaws, so check those out as well. Getting up here in the front, I like to go down the bottom portion, come back to midsection and hit the top. There's a little chip right here in our front fender. Coming across that grill in the front. It looks pretty good. Little light chips from the road. See up here. There's a little scratch right there inside the headlight. All right, we're gonna head on down the side here. Couple little chips right here on top of the fender. Looking for any bubbles or issues. It's pretty good. The door's kind of hanging a little bit. Let's go ahead and try to, well, it's shut all the way. It's just hanging a little bit here on the bottom. Exhaust kicked out to the side. Looks great. A little bit of wax left over on the back portion there. Coming up through the mid section. This car is beautiful. Hit that top section now. A little light scratch there. Should be able to buff out. And no guys, we don't have a buffer or a shop to do that. Uh, we just pull them to the back, vacuum them out, wash the car, and send them to the line. That's people saying that we already buffed our cars. I was like, well, I mean, if we did, they'd probably look a lot better. We had the piece of trim coming. We did order that. Uh, we noticed the trim was missing when we got the car. So it is on the way. Paint got a little thin there on the nose where that point is. I'm sure that was hard to mess or buff around. Most of these little light scratches that I'm seeing like this come from your chamois. Somebody wiping off the car black will show everything. Let me tell you, I've got two black vehicles at the house and literally shows everything. You got some light little uh, scratches up in here. You can't really see them. Look at down the side of the car here. We're gonna run this bottom portion again. This door hugs up nice. Coming down this mid section. And then, of course, hitting the top here. We're going to shut the hood down right at the end of the video after we get the car started, listen to the motor, and check that bird out. Have a chip right here in the paint. This is just a magnet tag. It's just sitting up there for now. It's not hurting anything. So. Coming around the back side here. Back bumper's in pretty good shape. We get it to jam. The weather stripping looks good. Uh, some of the water was dripping out of here. Inside this, you see that? 
and it kind of got a lot of water in the truck when I opened it up. We did spray the car off before we left, and it was raining all day yesterday. So I can't tell if it's actually just leaking or that's just all coming out of there. Because it just like literally doused in here, all of that. But the trunk looks solid. Doesn't look like it's rusted out. Looks pretty good. Let's check this package tray. Do have some uh, rust popping up in the package tray there. Looks like a lot of surface rust. There is a, a hole right here though. Come on, pop up light. There we go. The backside looks pretty good. Somebody's already replaced it. All right. Shuts down pretty easy. Okay, we've made it all the way around this car. What we're gonna do now is uh, jump on this interior, get her started up. Interior on this thing is in great shape. You can tell they replaced the trim on the door. The seats are in great shape. They're not ripped up. Package tray looks pretty good. Headliner's decent. It's got a few little wrinkles in it, but it's nice and tight for the most part. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think that horn works? A little game we like to play on this channel. All these old cars, a lot of the horns don't work. Until they put new weather stripping around the door. All right, let's jump off in here. So the mileage is going up. It's hard for me to stand behind anything in the 70s. Uh, for uh, due to motor swaps and all that good stuff. Uh, let's get her started. Starts up fairly easy. Go ahead, try the radio. It does not cut on. I tried it earlier. It's old school. Needs a blower motor put in here. Uh, the windshield wipers do work. Uh, you can see our gauge is coming up. We got our oil pressure right at 40. Engine temp's starting to come up again. It's about 150. Gas gauge does work. We just put gas in it on the test drive. All the air gauge is working as well. Our tack coming up. Car's got plenty of power. When it took off from the lot, I noticed it instantly. You ready for that horn? Let's do it. It's clicking, but it's not beeping. Tilt column. Well, you're not looking at too much here. You got a blower motor, which is not very expensive, a horn, not very expensive, and a radio, it's your preference there. Everything else is working. Let's check this out. I like the big wide tires in the back. Some people will say that's not wide. For this car it is, for a street car, yes it is. It's a good tire back there, it looks great. Motor's nice and quiet. Insulation's missing from up under the hood. Uh, could be easily added back. Let's go ahead and shut that hood down, see how it lines up. See how easy it is. Got a rocket though. These big long hoods, if you just go to yank down, it'll literally bend them. Then you'll be mad. <laughs> Look at that. I had to give that 10 seconds. 
Beautiful. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and do some undercarriage shots. Uh, go all the way around the car and check out maplemotors.com i do have detailed pictures inside out and under the car a lot of flaws are on those pictures as well we're pulling all that out for you so you know what you're buying before you come down here okay let's check it out I do appreciate y'all watching make sure to take your time and check out the test drive video i will tag it at the end of this one that way it's easy to find so like the last 30 seconds of this video pop up a test drive um, vice versa if you're watching this test drive video you can see this video at the end so anytime you're watching any of my videos there's a two-part that way you get a full description okay guys I'm gonna get back to the test drive. I got some cool shots I've been thinking of over here. So check that out. I appreciate y'all watching. And thanks again, guys.